want to show you how to find and enable hidden features in your Windows operating system. This could be Windows 10, Windows 11, doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll find your build number, search for hidden features, and then we'll show you how to enable them. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to GitHub. I'll give you this link in the description, so don't worry about jotting it down. And you're gonna download the latest version of the Vive Tool GUI. So for me right now, it's 1.7. Once you download that, already done it here but I'm gonna do it again for the demonstration once you download it just open it in file explorer right click it extract all extract it to whatever folder you want and then once that's done just run the Vive tool GUI and this has a nice little graphical user interface Vive tool is also available via command line I've done a de uh, demonstration on that as well but I wanted to cover the GUI. It's a little more user friendly for most people. Uh, so all you have to do guys is go up here to select build. Uh, I guess before we jump to that, if you already know the name of the feature, you can use the advanced option, type in the feature here. And if there's any variant numbers, uh, type that in there. And then you can just go ahead and drop down perform action and you would select enable feature. But today I'm gonna show you how to find some features that maybe you weren't aware of. So. Right now, I am on a Canary build of Windows 11 24H2, which is 26,100. So let's find that build. Here it is. I think you can also search for it up here. No, I lied, you cannot search for it. All right, so select your build. Again, I'm on 26,100, and this will populate all the features that are known in this particular build. All right, guys, excuse me. Uh, sorry for the raspy, congested voice. Whole house is sick, not sure what's going on, but I think we're getting over maybe COVID. I'm not sure, who knows nowadays. All right, so once that's done, it'll show you kind of in a category view. Uh, I think it's called grid view. These are the features that are always disabled. So you could drill into that. There's only one here, for example. But if you wanted to enable this, you would just hover over it and then perform action and you can do activate feature. And then these are always enabled. So if there's a feature that you wanted to disable for some reason, you could come in here, select one of them. Some of them are just by number. Most of them are by name though. So you could click on one of these and then you could go to action and um, disable feature. But usually what we're looking for is things that are disabled by default. And then if you wanted to come in here and enable one of these, all you do is click on it, perform action, and then you would activate feature. So like I said, a very um, user-friendly way to find and enable hidden features or features that Windows comes with that just aren't enabled by default. Uh, you could also do it through the command line. Uh, it's very hard to figure out what all of these features are, to be quite frank. So uh, thanks to the community out there who kind of tests these, finds these, and then documents what they are. So that's usually where you're gonna end up is, um, you know, Google search or YouTube videos of features that people have found and enabled. And now you have a tool where you can go in there and enable the same features. Let me know if you guys are using Vive tool. Uh, I think most of us that are familiar with it will probably use the command line version. Are you guys using the GUI version? Are you using the, uh, the search by build number? What cool tricks do you know about Vive Tool? As far as Windows 11, the latest build, uh, Canary Channel 26124H2, any cool features that I should be aware of that I could test Vive Tool to enable? All right, guys, I told you this is going to be a quick one. I just wanted to show you a new uh, tool for your arsenal in case you're not aware of Vive Tool, or maybe you weren't aware that Vive Tool had a GUI. All right, guys, appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video. Please share this with your friends. Maybe it'll help them out. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe. We're shooting for 10K this year, and I think we can get there. All right, guys, have a great day.